Hello guys and welcome to Linux Kida. Today we are going to set up CICD in Azure DevOps. So without further delay, let's get started. First click on the agent pool and then select the add agent. Select the self-hosted in pool type, give the name and giving the Ubuntu AWS and click on create. Then select the agent, then first select the new agent and select the linux i am using the linux so that's why i have selected linux so just use this command follow the simple instruction making the directory and then going to that directory and currently i'm using wget to download the tar file okay so then extract the star file okay so files are going to extracting now Okay, so after listing down, you can see all the configuration are listed. Now, use the config.sh. So first, so you will see this error. To solve this issue, just type this command, export. Okay, and again, rerun the command, you will see this prompt. Okay, select yes, and then give the URL. Simply give the URL just like this it will be different in your case okay so just give the url and give the authentication token just press enter and after that if you don't know where to get the token just simply right click here add a personal token so i have already token you can create by adding new token just i'm just regenerating the token okay so just copy that token and paste it here just enter it okay now you have to enter the pool name i have given the ubuntu aws i am giving the same name for the agent name also so you can see it is successfully created okay now after this i have to run another command which is given in the instruction so let me just go back to the instruction where we have to set up the pool click on the ubuntu aws uh, then it is offline okay uh, select on the new agent we are going to bring down that offline state to online so we have to run this command first dot run dot sh so i am running on the background so you do not need to rerun again every time okay guys so we can say this data is changed to online our agent is online click the back press button and go to the where you want to set up the CI/CD pipeline in which repository so just press the back button or you can directly go to the, your repository and click on this setup a build so this is my node.js code and select the node.js as a configure so it is loading and you can see these steps here these are the by default steps for installing the node.js so i'm not going to do this because i have already installed the node.js to check use this command if it is present then don't add the step okay so i am removing the all the steps and i'm adding my own code here so you can see this trigger variables pool names steps and scripts I have listed down here and scripts are going to be differ in your case depending on the which configuration you want so but npm install and npm build these are the mandatories okay so let me just go back to the this pipeline and here the command line argument I have also added and I also added the archive files and I'm going to push then again to the artifactory so just create this thing so it will take just a couple of seconds now you can see it is in queue mode so first grant the permission permit permit okay so after permitting your job get started to get, job get starts to execute so first it is doing the npm install and it will do all the things line by line npm build then 
it will uh, execute the command line then archive files and do all the configuration okay so our job is executed successfully now now if you have to check the artifacts you can click here under drop you can say our tar file is successfully generated so i'm going to extract that tar file to other server or same server you can do that so to that to do that i'm going to set up a release pipeline so select on release and select on the new pipeline sorry uh yeah new pipeline and then select the empty job and give the stage name i'm going to give it as a deploy and close it and add an artifact select your project name so this was my project name and click on add so just this check this pre-deployment condition is on and select on the continuous deployment trigger so click on add include your branch so when your pipeline gets executed it automatically deliver your release pipeline also so this is important steps now click on agent job give the agent name i'm giving the ubuntu agent here select your aws agent which we have set up in the agent pool now search for the command line and click on add and just write your own script here i am writing my own script it depends on your project so this is the i am just giving the different file path name here okay so it will just uh, untar the file in the given location so you can give the pipeline name release name this was the first release and you can save this and first create a manual release select deploy and click on create so it is creating so you can check the status from the release so it is currently deploying so it is still not deployed you have to first manually deploy okay so click on deploy and deploy so it is in progress manual trigger is successfully agent pool is running and it will perform all the necessary actions that we have written in the script so it is executing all the steps and it has executed the all the steps so okay this was the release pipeline and if you go to the agent directory my agent directory and under word directory if you go off on in my case it is r2 and cd a cd underscore dashboard dot git underscore drop you can see the star file right click on the release because i have not given the correct path name here let me go to the task command and it should be r2 instead of r1 in your case it will be different just save it again and after that click on the pipeline we are going to rerun the pipeline after running the pipeline we are going to check our release is also going to automatically deploy or not so select the branch and run click on the jobs so it is started executing npm install build okay so it will perform the, all the actions and after that click on the release from the left side menu so you will see the deployment is also started to get executing for the release when you click on this it is waiting for agent now it is executed successfully guys so go to the command prompt and go to the path slash where tap 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 html where we have put in our dashboards code so it is under this mcdonald and let me just open the my ip address and let me just check in the browser if it is running or not so give the 
hot name so guys you can see the page is successfully loaded so guys don't forget to subscribe